happening now. New video this afternoon from Sky 12 showing the ruins of the KFC in Eden. Just look at that destruction. A major explosion overnight leveling that popular fast food restaurant. Meredith Stutz has been on the ground this morning gathering new details and she joins us live from that scene. Meredith, still a very active scene. Yes, it is Devante and so far no cause of the explosion just yet, but this is what remains behind me of that Kentucky Fried Chicken here on South Van Buren Road just past Highway 14 and I'm actually behind me seeing an excavator starting to take down even more of that restaurant. Now above me you do see that giant bucket of chicken that's still standing, but below a pile of rubble now filled with questions as investigators try to nail down what caused this explosion. Overnight, neighbors on both sides of the state line describing being woken up by something feeling like an earthquake. You don't see nothing like that. It's like, like a movie, you know what I mean? A movie featuring America's most famous colonel. An explosion around 12.30 Thursday morning destroyed this KFC in Eden. Thankfully, no one was hurt, including KFC employee Christian Jarrett. Knowing that this could have happened while I was here, any of my co-workers or anything like that is just it's terrifying. A scary sight, he says, started the night before. He was leaving work, and he says he and his co-workers and manager smelled a gas leak. It was very faint, but it was enough to give you a, a headache, you know, enough to, like, enough to make you a little queasy and give you a headache. And maybe a couple hours later, like, you hear a loud explosion. It's like, a, like you would hear an atomic bomb on TV, but, like, major loud. Right of the windows in the house. Brandon Overton and his girlfriend ate a chicken dinner here hours before the blast. We're lucky, I guess, that we didn't explode when we was in there. The force of the explosion shattered windows and damaged nearby businesses. First responders, along with DOT and ATF, worked for hours using a drone and heavy machinery to sort through the mess, all with gratitude. It's hard to see that and think you could be lucky about anything, but the uh, city of Eden about two and a half years ago, we had a tornado that came through here about one block from here, and it literally leveled several buildings, businesses. But it was at 3.30 in the morning and not one single injury. Anything can happen, you know, like KFC's on the ground, ain't no chicken tonight. A change of perspective, even if it means a change of menu. Now behind me, again, we are hearing an excavator trying to take down part of one of the back walls. We are told that walls would be taken down if they are deemed unsafe. That is because members of the ATF and local first responders are trying to sift through the debris to try to find an origin of that explosion, including checking any pipelines. But again, as of our noon broadcast, the origin of that explosion has yet to be confirmed. Now, I have been told by the chief of police here in Eden that they do hope that South Van Buren Road can be reopened to the public in a few hours. Reporting live in Eden, Mayor Stutz, WXII, 12 News. Incredible damage and still a lot to sort through this afternoon, Mayor, to thank you. And KFC actually just released this statement about the explosion in Eden. A spokesperson says in part, quote, we are devastated by this incident, but most importantly, we are grateful that all of our restaurant team members are safe and no one was injured. We would like to thank the Eden police and fire crews for their response and continued support. And there have been two similar explosions in North Carolina. Last week in Charlotte, a gas leak at a home ignited, reducing the structure to rubble. A woman died and her husband was badly injured. Neighbors say debris flew everywhere and say it felt like an earthquake. Two people nearby were hurt as well. And three months ago, a gas explosion rocked downtown Durham. Two people died and dozens of others were hurt. The damage is still being cleaned up today. A cause of that blast has not been released, but the fire marshal's report is due out sometime next week. And those explosions has utility companies this afternoon reminding people about the power of natural gas. It's a colorless and odorless gas, but gas companies add a substance to it to make it smell like rotten eggs. Utility crews say if you smell that scent, leave the area right away without touching anything. That includes light switches and even your cell phone. Get out, get away, and then call 911.